everyone I'm back with another mascara review and um what's I gonna say the, okay sorry I lost my train of thought for some reason this is blink kiss me mascara and you can get this at Sephora for I think $23 $24 so it is definitely one of your more expensive mascaras and um I've actually been asked to review this for a very long time I'm just not getting to it and um uh, it is a fiber mascara, which means it's going to kind of attach to your eyelashes a little bit. And it's supposed to give you length. And it comes off differently than a traditional mascara. And it's mostly, most comparable to MG Fiber Wig, which is my favorite lengthening mascara ever. I love that stuff. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to compare this to because this one does work differently. So uh, let's just pretend MG doesn't exist and we're just going to focus on Blink Kiss Me Mascara which looks like this. Oh, sorry y'all. I broke my nail. And I broke this one. I broke both of my middle fingers. So frustrating. Um, so this is Kiss Me Mascara. It comes like a little tube like this. And you just pop the top. So the packaging is really cute. A plus for packaging. And then the mascara pops out like that. And um... Uh, like I said, it's a fiber mascara, so um, what I first noticed when I opened this is that it's very glossy. And I'm not sure how well. I gotta be like super still for it to focus. <laughs> it won't do it. But anyway, um, I'm not sure if you can tell how well, how glossy it is, but it's very glossy. Um, and I've never seen anything this shiny and bright before, so that was very intriguing. Um, the wand is almost like one of those, uh, throwaway wands that you see when you're testing a mascara at a, there you go, there you go, hey, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, it, it looks like one of those, um, you can't quite see the fibers on it, but they do, they're called, they call them tubes. Um, MG Fiberwood calls theirs, they call them fibers, but Blink Kiss Me Mascara, they have this model that goes like a tube your lashes or something like that. So the concept is that you're not you're not applying make you're not applying mascara, you are tubing your lashes. Whatever that means. Um no, here's the here's the motto. You ready? <clears throat> Stop painting your lashes, tube them. So that's the concept. Now, do I think it works? I like I like fiber mascara, so I do like it. I just don't think that it works well for me, simply because uh, I like volume. I like a lot of length. I just want to look like when it comes to mascara. Some people like you know more of a subtle, natural look, which is understandable. Everybody just want to look like you know they're wearing fake lashes. Personally, I don't mind that look, even if I'm going to work. I just love mascara, and um, I don't like to have a real mascara-y look, but I like to have a nice, lush, dark kind of look. So this will work best for women who have smaller eyelids, um, smaller eyes, Asian women. I hear works. this works well for them as well. And I got that from the Sephora lady in um, Sephora, obviously. She's the one that brought me onto the idea that this mascara isn't for everyone. It's really more for people with smaller lashes. And I say that because the wand is so small. So it makes sense. And now I'm going to apply it. I'm not only going to apply it, but I'm going to show you how it comes off. I have it on this eye here. So um, y'all can't say nothing about my brows because they look like my brows and my skin. I almost didn't do a video today because I just was looking like a mess, but you know. Okay. I have this, um, hold on just a second. I have this tripod up, so we're going to see how well this works. Okay. So obviously this is the eye lid without, I hope it shows. I have on a liner, so it may be a little difficult to show how well it goes on. Okay. Let's go. This is the first coat. I've Oh, see that? <sighs> Crazy. Here's the first coat. I can't see it, and there we go. So the first coat, I'm sorry y'all, this is so hard. I usually can do it when I'm sitting down, but it's hard when you're standing up. There's the first coat. 
And as you can see, it's nothing too dramatic. And it's going to be a little more difficult to see because I have on a liner <sighs> on the top. So, I mean, I'm getting a, not too much curl. And it's a little black, but you, you can hardly see my lashes. So, you know, I wasn't too impressed. Let's do the second coat. That should have dried already. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and put this on, and you won't be able to see me, but I want it to look good so y'all can see it in the end. So, give me just a second. Okay. Okay. So, here's my second coat. And I have a little bit more length, as you can tell. But it's still not super wonderful it's not what i would like but i see how it could work for people who just want like an everyday natural look and you like fiber mascaras so um yeah i think i gave it a four because its performance is good it just does not work well for me and i'm going to show you how you take it off take it off you use warm water oh excuse me i'm all out there huh <laughs> you use warm water and what i have here is just like a little water in my sink and um it's not warm anymore but you kind of just wet your lashes and just kind of rub your fingers like that. And you do this. And you just rub, rub, rub. And it should come off. You do it very gently. You don't want to rush. Take your time because you don't want to rip out any of your lashes. And, um, okay. There you go. Can you see it? It's coming off. Ooh, that's a lot. See that? That is the mascara coming off just like that. So, um, yeah, I like the way these come off, actually. I think it's more effective than a regular mascara. You don't smear. It doesn't smudge when it comes off. Look at that. All of that is the mascara. And it just comes off like that. And you're done in a matter of seconds so I like it it's actually um, I wish all my scares did that so that's kiss me by blink and you can get it at Sephora Sephora.com for $24 and um yeah oh <laughs> I'm brave <laughs> I gotta go now I hope y'all enjoy my review bye